Welcome back to Visibility Hacking Radio. Welcome to Visibility Hacking Radio. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the world of content systems, how to create them, the benefits they bring, and the resources you can use to get started. We'll also be answering some questions from our audience, so buckle up and let's jump in. Welcome to Visibility Hacking Radio, where we empower visionary leaders to amplify their message, ignite their mission, and unleash their movement. Are you ready to create a lasting impact and reach new heights? Let's dive in. Hosted by Toronto's own Molly Dorst, a seasoned expert in out-of-the-box branding for visionary leaders, Visibility Hacking Radio brings you valuable insights, powerful strategies, and actionable tips from leading experts and entrepreneurs. Get ready to be inspired informed and transformed as we dive into today's episode of visibility hacking radio amplify your message ignite your mission and unleash your movement before we get into the audience questions let's briefly discuss what content systems are and why they're so important In a nutshell, a content system is a set of processes and tools designed to streamline and automate the content creation, distribution, and repurposing process. By having a well-structured content system in place, you can save time, you can reduce stress, and you can maintain a consistent content output that keeps your audience engaged and helps your brand grow. So let's move on to the audience questions. Our first question comes from Jane, who asks, what are some tools and platforms I can use to help create my content system? Great question, Jane. There are several tools and platforms that can help you automate and streamline your content system, including content planning tools like Trello or Asana, which can help you organize and plan your content calendar. Tools like social media scheduling tools like Buffer or Hootsuite, which allow you to schedule your content across multiple platforms well in advance. Uh, I personally use Later in the visibility hacking world. Content repurposing tools like Descript or Headliner, which can help you transform your long-form content into bite-sized pieces for different platforms without having to pay for those big, expensive Adobe uh, memberships. Our next question comes from Mark, who asks, how do I know if my content system is working effectively? Well, that's a great question, Mark. To determine if your content system is working effectively, you'll want to monitor key performance indicators, or what we refer to as KPIs, such as engagement, reach, and the time you save by using your content system. By analyzing these KPIs, you can identify areas for improvement and make any necessary adjustments to your system. Another listener, Sarah, asks, what are some strategies for repurposing content within my content system? Thanks for the question, Sarah. Here are a few strategies to consider when repurposing your content. Create hype content by teasing upcoming episodes or highlighting existing moments from past episodes. Transform long-form content into micro-content by extracting key insights or memorable quotes and turning them into graphics, short videos, or social media posts. Make sure you also leverage user-generated content by sharing reviews, testimonials, or social posts from your audience. Produce what we call talkback content by responding to audience comments or questions in new content pieces, like a Q&I segment or a follow-up episode. Our final question today comes from Carlos, who asks, what resources can I use to learn more about creating content systems? What a fabulous question, Carlos. There are many resources available to help you learn more about creating content systems. Like, there are tons of online courses and webinars that focus on content marketing, automation, and content creation, uh, blog articles and ebooks on content systems and content marketing strategies, uh, podcasts and YouTube channels that focus on content creation, marketing, and systemization, and of course, online communities like LinkedIn groups and Facebook groups where you can connect with others who are interested in content systems and share experiences and tips. 
My number one suggestion, of course, is joining the Visibility Hackers Facebook group. Uh, just type in Visibility Hacking into the search bar and it, you'll, you'll find us there. Don't forget to subscribe to the Visibility Hacker YouTube channel. Well, that wraps today's episode on automating content creation and scaling content productions and delivery. I hope this discussion has provided you with valuable insights and resources for creating an effective content system. Remember, having a well-structured content system can save you time, it can reduce your stress, and it can allow you to focus on what truly makes you happy. Until I see you again next time, stay excellent to each other. Another fantastic episode of Visibility Hacking Radio comes to a close. We hope you've gained valuable insights and tools to help you on your journey to greater success. Stay informed and ahead of the curve by subscribing to our newsletter at visibilityhacking.com slash newsletter. You'll receive the latest news, updates, and exclusive content to support your message, mission, and movement. And remember to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. Until next time, be excellent to each other.